Here we go. Round one. Let's see. What can I do here? How do the controls work? Okay, this is the overall perspective. Tryout scrims. You know, Team Leviathan, the orange team. Um, Siege Stars, the blue team. Wolfie, Rookmane, Alec Bar, Yoda, Bro Star, blue team. Orange team. Big Red, Walking, Muff, Mason, A, A Join. There we go. So the site they chose for basement is. I mean, they chose basement for their site, but um, I was about to say the operators they chose for basement is Smoke, Big Red playing Smoke, Walking playing the Vigil, Muff playing Thunderbird, Mason playing the Jaeger, A Join playing the Mozzie. Alright. Let's see, and Wolfie is gonna be the Heart Breacher playing Abana, Rookman will play Amaru, Alec Bar will play Twitch, Yoda will play Grillock, Rostar will play Ying. And might be a big tower bunker push. It's, but the uh, Team Leviathan does have a elbow rotate. Meanwhile, Walking is roaming currently in dining. Some people are skipping back and forth. Oh, walking kills Wolfie. Alec Bar kills Mason. And now we have a 4v4 situation. Um, walking will rotate to Z hallway. Maybe push into meeting. Brookman trying to drone meeting. I'm not sure if he spots walking. Oh, he can't because walking is using his ability. Yoda takes out join. We got Muff, who tags the grill lock just a little bit. Alec Bar is currently in green hallway. Walking currently just holding and meeting, in it, holding an angle. Muff, pillar door, big red at blue bunker. Flash has been used. Rookmane in a gunfight between him and Muff. Oh, Bro Star. Some tags. Uh, but the Alec Bar, Alec Bar with the flank takes out Walking. He was pushing into Z Hallway, push split. Now we have two defenders remaining. Oh, Alec Bar takes another person, takes the muff, so that leaves the smoke remaining. Oh, I think he got traded out. I think they traded or something like that. So Yoda's still alive, Rookmane's still alive, and Brostar is still alive. Big Red wins the gunfight against Bro Star, and now it's up to Rookmane and Yoda in a 2v1 situation. They know that Bro Star is in elbow, and Rookmane gets the final kill. On to Big Red. That's it for round number one. All right, round number two. Looks like we're running it back at basement. Big Red will play that smoke deployable shield, walking, reinforcing some hatches. Ooh, I paused it for a second. Muff will play Thunderbird, Mason will play Jaeger, and Join will play the Malusi. Once again, side side basement.
Okay. Pause it for a second. Let's see what attackers are pushing. Oh, it could be another big tower push. We'll be playing Habana, Rook Main Will, Amaro into Big Tower, Alec Bar, Yoda, and Bro Star. And there is one kitchen that is the vigil. Oh, not even kitchen. K green hallway at, the, at this point. Whoa, he is pushed up. Um, I think they droned him out. Oh, but Mason takes out Bro Star. He was spawn peeking at garage. Takes out the Ying. So Ying's off the table. Oh, Alec Bar saves his teammate walking. Looks like Alec Bar was holding that door. I mean, he doesn't save walking. He saves Yoda, his teammate, and walking goes down. My bad. So now it's a 4v4 situation. Oh, but we're still missing Mason. Mason is... Yeah, Mason's the only one roaming. Oh, but he's gonna rotate back. I believe this is when Wolfie noticed something's up here. It's like, where did Mason go? Oh, I hear a barricade. And Wolfie would spot Mason, and there we go. So that should be every roamer. Attackers know that every ro uh, roamer is... No, there's no more roamers. They're all back around site. So now the... Uh, now Sea Stars can make the way. Oh, Muff. He was holding Pillar, takes out Rook main. I kind of want to rewind that back to see what happened there. Alright, so here's... Rook main's going to uh, peek the Pillar, and I think Muff won that 1v1. Pillar versus Tower Steps. Who wins these? There we go. So there's, there's Rook main... Peeking, his centering is to the wall. Muff centering is kind of at the angle and voila. So he shoots that angle and whoa. So he was holding. That pillar. Oh, okay, so he's holding this nice head level angle from pillar. And once again, let me spectate Rick Domain's perspective. Wow, he didn't get a chance to. He was still aiming at the right wall, and then he died by Muff holding that head. He didn't even get a chance to move his right stick to to uh, th uh, Muff's uh, head level. So now it's a three v uh, four situation. Alec Bar, Wolfie, and Yoda are alive. Oh, Yoda's gonna try to go for that. Maybe refrag, but instead we'll back away. Toss a gridlock charge again. Wolfie's getting open the hatches. Oh, what, once again, Yoda's gonna re-challenge this. Let's see if he wins that. Oh. Oh. Ah, uh, Muff tried to go for a C4 kill. And Yoda punishes Muff for trying to toss a C4. So, now it's a 3v3 situation. About a minute, uh, 13 seconds left. I think Oliver wants to push Freezer. Wolfie just joining out some players. Spots the smoke. Spots one around closet, one in supply. So he knows where everybody's at. Technically, Wolfie gave the call out. So now Alkbar, what can he do with that information? One in the clo uh, closet area. There's a smoke by that Freezer wall. Tags Mason just a little bit. Takes out Big Red. Yoda takes out A join. Ooh. Nice. And that last but not least is Mason. Oh, Alec Bar. He takes the final kill. I was wondering where the heck happened. I gotta see this final kill by Alec Bar. Onto Mason. Alright, so let's go see that final kill. Oh, I rewinded it too, a little bit too much. So, once again, let's see this. Takes out Big Red. Oh, I have a chance to see how Yoda take out a joint. Oh, he was just injured. And there we go, so he just got injured, that's all. Okay, I don't know who injured who. But it's fine. And then, and then that last one, at least, is Mason, but this is when Alec Bar pushes up. Ah, so that's how you got the final kill. 2-0 to zero lead for Sea Stars. Round number 3 is starting. And this time, we're not running it back for the third time. 
basement. This time, Team Leviathan will go top floor. Big Red will play the Thunderbird. And then, let's see who else. Hold on. How do I change to a different person? Oh, Walking will play Ella. Muff will play the Smoke. Mason will play Jaeger. Ajoin will play Oroni. This is going to be an attic side uh, side attack. That's the game plan for Sea Stars. Attic attack and kids kids window, I believe. So Alec Bar will play Twitch, and Yoda will push into attic along with Wolfie playing the Heart Breacher. Rookman will play Amaru. Oh, whoa. I guess see Eric's perspective. He tagged that big red. I think he got tagged himself. Oh. One is down. I think that's from Cali. Yoda was able to down the muff for the time being. Mason TK's muff is like, uh, I want you out of there. So 5v4 man advantage for C stars at the moment. Uh, you can see the drones coming in. Why is walking getting tagged? Oh, walking and Alec Bar. Oh, walking, pre firing, pre firing, backs away. Alec Bar would just hold. Oh, Wolfie we'll getting tagged as well. I think it's because of the Thunderbird. I think Big Red is kind of holding it back and forth on an attic, rotating away. You also have Ajoin trying to contest the person at Kid's window. So Rookmane gets rid of Ajoin. 5v3 man advantage. Oh, at this point, Mason takes out Bro Star. Was that, oh, was that wall soft? And he just gets a nice, nice soft wall angle. Oh, wow, just, just shoots through that soft wall and take out Bro Star. Interesting. So now it's a 4v3. Oh, but Rookman takes out Big Red. But then gets refired by Mason. Oh, I think you try to. So you rushed in, takes out the Thunderbird, but then Mason gets the refrag. So now it's a 3v2. Uh, I'm inspecting Alibar. He's looking to make a play. Oh, Mason headshots Alec Bar. This is where. I remember when I was playing this as Wolfie. I am confused. Where are at? We had no drone, so I had no clue. But. I, I I heard somebody around kids. I couldn't tell where would Mason uh, Mason turns out didn't challenge this, but I heard heard so many kids that but I didn't know where walking's at. Walking was at dorms. My my thought process I remember was one around kids, and I'm like walking's probably holding game. I I feel like if I push in game's door, walking's holding on the attic door. I think wa walking was in either games or trophy. That was my thought process, but it turns out walking was in dorms. So no, with no information, it was hard to figure out what to do in a 2v2 situation. I know we're going to lose this eventually. So I think I have to go make a play. Destroy the deployable shield. I think that that's definitely destroyed. I I always... My my, my spidey sense was tickling. I'm, prob I'm just probably holding some angle and gains, but walking wasn't there. But... 
I just had a feeling one was the kids. If I could kill the guy, if I could kill walking wherever he is, that maybe we could 2v1 the guy at kids. With, with 20 seconds left. If not, then I have to go for the plant and hope, uh, what's his name, Yoda will have to uh, watch over me. I think, I guess I technically, no, nah, I don't think Yoda could watch. Yeah, Yoda can watch over me. If that, if he didn't destroy the shield, if Yoda didn't destroy the shield, he can play, you can use that shield to his advantage, playing, uh, the shield will protect him if, if Mason swings his rotate, and he could watch, and if I plant at games, once, once I realize games is clear, um, Yoda can just hold the, the door, uh, and then if walking crosses, he can hold that, so. But that shield is destroyed. Even though it shows that it's not destroyed, he did destroy that deployable shield. So, I thought I thought it was holding some kind of cheeky corner. Then I spot walking, but I was like, ooh, my my centering is not good enough. So I'm not going to challenge it. I'm going to run away. Oh, I did challenge it. I did try it. I tried. I tried to challenge it, but I'm 1 HP at the same time. Oh, at the same time, I think Mason... Who swung who? Mason won the 1v1 against... Um... Yoda. Let's see what happened. Let's see what happened. Yeah, yeah, all the utility's been shot. Wow, I did go for the challenge. Whoa, what was the react? Uh, dude. Dude, I think Jaeger swung so fast, he had no time to react. Um, dude. Uh, it turns out Jaeger was at... <sighs> okay, if you noticed earlier in the video, I was like, I don't think I don't think Yoda knew this, but you could see somebody's feet. If somebody's behind one of those red those red bu uh, beds in kids, you could shoot their feetsies. So, I wish uh, I wish he could check check the feetsies first and then swing. I don't I, I don't know, man. But that could have been that could have been awesome on Mason if, if he shot Mason's feet. I'm gonna write that. I'm gonna write that back so I can show you what I mean. Here we go. So, bam! Right, uh, you could shoot Mason's toes here. And I remember earlier in the round, I was like, I was hoping Mason would play here or or or, or you know play safe here or swing me, but I would shoot his toes. I I was prone. I was prone in the middle of attic. I was hoping for it, but Mason never rotated here until now. Which is kind of tough. I would have shot if if we were, that's that could have been another plan. If we were able to kill Mason and kids, then then kids control is free. We would have pushed kids a two v one, a man advantage against Ella. Oh, against Walking. It turns out he was bunk, and that would have been better for us. But I went to challenge. I went to figure out what the Ella was what uh, where the Ella was at, and my plan was to kill the Ella. Maybe two v one Mason uh, kids or go for the plant here at uh, games options there but right here there we go yoda if only he was prone he could or or hold like a nice safe angle prone looking at looking at uh underneath that red he could have shot mason's feet and uh and while mason swung and killed yoda and then uh there's nothing i can do here uh one HP, about five ten xp mason's about to swing y y y about to swing and i think y walking walking swings here and then yeah and it gets me. Yeah. And it makes sense there just to shoot the wall. Even if I kill walk, yeah, I will get shot in the back. So yeah, now the score is uh two to one. They won round number three. Uh Leviathan wins round number three, scores two to one. Alright. Round number four, back to basement. Big Red will play Mute. Walking's playing Thunderbird. Muff is playing Malusi. Mason's playing Valkyrie. A join is playing Aruni. And I'll line up Rollstar playing Ying, Yoda playing Gridlock. I, I I don't think Rollstar ever get a chance to... Hold on, let me resume. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I might have to jump glitch. But the the plan for Rollstar was was to Ying, to toss the Yings to clear out Pillar. Like, our plan for Rollstar was to play uber aggressive on pillar control like Yoda and bro once we get uh, tower control you can get pillar control easily once you ying it out 
once you toss your yings and you can flush everybody out but i think brosar kept on getting picked off during the beginning stages of this round so we never had that aggressive entry as uh of, of ying that that presence of ying because i think he uh bro star died earlier in the round that's a problem i mean the plan was kind of solid we're going we're still clearing the runways above uh we're not necessarily pushing bunker um so how do i what the heck why is my controls weird now i can't really move to go okay there we go now i can spike to rickman so yeah wolfie playing habana rickman playing amaru this is all top clear and then eventually we'll open the hatches and eventually Ying and Grillock. Grillock of course will place her traps on the flanks. But eventually we'll get pillar control because you have an aggressive Ying for for Candelas and you have Grillock as well, can toss smokes, can can toss maybe maybe some Grillock traps on pillar after you place your Grillock traps to the flank. Our bar can make it whatever sneaky after he's he's hunting down roamers, work may, work may hunting down roamers, right? That's the plan. Oh wait, did we change the plan on this on round number or whatever? Why is uh, Yoda pushing here? Or, our plan was never to push bunker. Mason playing the Valkyrie is currently in garage. Oh, checking the cameras. He is checking the cameras here. Uh, as both stars worry about Mason Garage, yeah, Mason's currently in Garage. Yoda is, I believe, droning. Alec Bar might be on his drone as well. Outside green. Rickman's ready in bunk. Uh, what I wanted Rickman to do is do a top down clear. Like, maybe addict and just, uh, but not, not, bo not bunk. If, what's a good idea? Maybe, uh, if we spot Valkyrie in Garage, maybe what Rickman can do is try to clear out um second floor trophy you know kids kids bunk tr trophy make make his way down uh, tro uh lobby stairs and then we're gonna and, and basically mason where mason's at he's stuck because bro star will be watching the door and he can't rotate back because then there's rook main gonna be on his pinch at the garage door the other garage door towards uh back back to lobby so I don't, I don't like Rookmate's position here. Um, we, we, this, this was never a bunker, a bunker push. This is a top-down roam clear push. Uh, where is Alec Bar? Okay, yeah, he wants to push green. Uh, I don't know where Yoda's at, but he's droning. So at this point, yeah, it, it's just Mason. It, it's if it's only one roamer, it's so easy to to. Get rid of this guy if it's only one roamer. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, this was never a bunker push. I didn't like Rookmains. I just ooh, I never a bunker push. That was not the plan. I have a drone. Oh, I even have a drone there. And I was like thinking, um, I hope, I hope we have our uh, entry roamer. You know, clearing lobby side out since we don't. Since we have a gut feeling, I think I'm thinking we spot Mason before, but we have a gut feeling that Mason's at garage here. Ooh, Brostar gives up, gives up, and this is where I believe Mason makes the play. I remember Brostar does get tagged, right? Ooh, and then there we go. Mason takes out Brostar. With Ying gone, remember our plan with Ying was to, uh, once we clear the roamers, Ying can be really aggressive to get rid of the guy Pillar with, with the Candelas. And now, the 4v5 situation. Ooh, MUF takes out Exiled Yoda. Yoda would swing Tower's depths. Ah. Here's the plan what Yoda could have done. Yoda, we don't, we don't challenge Tower steps first. Instead, what uh, the Grillock could have done was place the Grillock traps on the stairs. So, if you place Grillock traps on the stairs, maybe maybe one, uh, yeah, one on the middle of the stairs and one towards the green. It's, I wish I could make an indicator, but he's dead now. Then what Grillock and 
Habana can do is is help help pinch that Valkyrie Alec, with Alec Bar. So Alec Bar, Grillock, and Wolfie can help help get that that uh, refrag on that Roamer. But I wish I wish there was one tower stairs already. You know, oh not tower stairs, uh, lobby stairs. I wish the Rookman was there. And it turns out, yeah, Alabar's making a great play, trying to push this side. If Rookman was, if Rookman was on Mason's left, like either either holding on lobby stairs or in classroom, Mason would have been dead already. Uh, Mason can't push meeting because if Grillock was still alive, Skrill, after Grillock placing his uh, Grillock traps on the tower stairs, Wolfie and Grillock, exiled Yoda, will push in meeting, and Mason, the only the only play Mason can do is p go rotate back to basement stairs but actually that not mm, actually that, that's not that's not possible because mason's stuck in garage we have rookman holding this area we have uh alec bar we're pushing z hallway mason can't uh and then we have uh habana and gridlock pushing uh, at uh meeting so yeah mason would should have been refried around about now if we had the attackers in the correct positions but no uh, rookman's here and uh, Yoda challenged the pillar. It was it's Rome clear first, and then go for site clear. Rome clear first, site clear. But the attackers didn't know about it. I, I guess so. Miscommunication here. And where does Mason go? Yeah, this is when. Okay, so yeah, um, Yoda dies to Muff. He challenged challenged the pillar guy. Now I had a feeling. I think I had a feeling that Mason is somewhere in meeting. Turns out he was split. I think my drone, oh, yeah, I want to see garage clear for sure, and then I'm pretty sure I spot Mason. Or oh, maybe I don't. I heard a C4. I was like, oh, C4. I don't know what that from. Oh, and it destroys my C4. I didn't get to spot Mason, but my C4 gets destroyed in. And at this time, Mason's already in kitchen. So Mason's in kitchen. Alec Bar. Oh, he gives up trying to hunt down Mason. No, we gotta hunt down Mason, man. If we hunt down Mason and get and win that gunfight, it's a three v three. Like that's that's better than a three v four. Like, let's get rid of the roamer first, Mason, uh, and then uh, and then we could do a three v three 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 v three situation and 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 go from there. But now it's just me solo pushing. I have case as well. I know I I know I'm, I think I die here. I'm case as well. Alec Bar was holding down Z hallway and Mason's in kitchen. Uh, if Alec Bar was holding still at Z hallway, maybe, maybe come back, maybe come back to Z hallway and pinch dining table. Uh, now Mason's at dining table. Like this is not good. Alec Bar could have got could have got the free kill on Mason. I think because Mason was caught reloading in dining table, and if Alec Bar was holding some kind of angle, watching dining table from from shower hallway, Z hallway, whatever. Uh, this ain't good. But he was pushing Z hallway, so or or if he pushed Z hallway, okay, maybe Alec Bar can push Z hallway out, push and split, push and meeting. Okay, so meeting is clear. So then we could two v one this guy at Mason. We could, we, we could two v one Mason here. But. I uh, like I had no option like I we can't just let Mason roam fr freely I had no no option but to figure out where he was I had no idea like my my instinct was was I never thought he was at dining because I, I I remember I, I last saw my teammate was at Ch uh, Z hallway so I never thought he was at dining I was thinking he's either in kitchen or green so I'm gonna give up dining and here's me exposing my back Mason's just holding the angle Oh, Big Red takes out Alec Bar. I got I got to rewind that back to see how Big Red takes out Alec Bar. And there we go. There's the free kill. But let me see what happened here. How does Big Red win the gunfight against Alec Bar? Here we go. Ah, uh, up close. Big Red wins it. I least I know I least the gunfight into Mason can spy him and Rogue Mason a one v four. Rookman takes out walking, but gets refracted by a join, and now we're tied two to two. All right, round number five. Yeah, round number five. They have to choose a third bomb site since they won top four and basement. So this. 
other bomb site they prefer dining and kitchen over meeting and kitchen. So dining and kitchen will be Team Leviathan's third bomb site. Big Red will play Mute. Walking is going to play Jaeger. Muff will play Mira. Mason's gonna play Castle. A joins is gonna play Aruni. Our uh, the Sea Stars attacker lineup is will be playing Habana. Rook main playing. Amaru, Alec Bar will play Sledge, to Prime Vertical, Exile Yoda on Flank Watch will play the Gridlock, and Brostar is Diffuse to also provide that vertical pressure. And one, two, seems like everybody's around site at the moment, I believe. Yeah, so five players in sight, but I'm starting to remember that towards the end they're gonna start uh, roaming, especially walking. Maybe, oh yeah, he's not in sight, he's gonna try to maybe drop down. Freezer hatch and then flank. I don't know what happened. Let's see. So the plan of attack, we have two people pushing uh, big tower. They want to get out of control. Big tower control, out of control, a uh, push that way. And then we have some junk, a uh, junkyard push as well. Oh, uh, Bro Star and Wolfie and Alec Bar is down. What? How? Oh, did he? somehow fall to the stairs? That's unfortunate. So Alec Bar would be left out. Twenty to thirty HP. To start off with 20 30 HP is not too good, but it seems that we will get that control. We will get all of the top control. Big Red walking. Wow, walking is roaming all the way basement stairs. I remember I did join out base. I did join out tower steps before, but did I just get missed timing? Uh, I'm gonna rewind this back. I remember I was. I remember there was a point where I did drone out the tower stats before. I'm gonna see where my drone went. Never spotted the Jaeger. Alright, so resume. So, yep. Yeah, I think I was droning out, the top was clear, checking every corner. But there was a time where I did drone tower steps. I'm going back and forth so I don't get what's it called bad timing on my drones back and forth between because you never know I might miss drone somebody so it's back and forth between white stairs and whatever oh well walking is currently here maybe I probably I know I drone tower I think I probably droned it maybe at a uh, uh during the preface uh, I thought that was clear. Maybe that's why Rookman will drone. Also, so walking just holding the bottom basement tower steps. Hmm. All right. So we do have we do have the vertical pressure. Big Red will play site. Surprise! Did the fuse ever use his fuse? He probably did already. So Big Red's playing kitchen, walking, waiting for his move to pinch. Um. Muff will play Dining Hall, Mason will also play Dining Hall, and A joins will play Dining Hall. Okay, that's the plan. Spectate Bro Star for a second here. Get tied up at the castle. And Yoda takes out Mason. Ah, from the hatch. There we go. There, that's the castle. But, uh... Walking slowly but surely with flying tower steps. Or maybe he doesn't. The attacker's bomb diffuser has been dropped. Oh, a C4 kill. What the heck? And Big Red takes on Rook main. All at the same time. Time to rewind it back. Let's see the C4 kill by Muff. Alright. Muff gets a double C4 kill. Right here. Right there. Wow. So obviously Yoda's gonna die because Yoda's right underneath it. But the Bro Star dies as well, I guess, because he's kinda half HP. Yeah. And then at the same time, Big Red. Let's highlight Rookmate's perspective. He's going to be a 1v1 gunfight against Big Red here. Whoa, didn't even get the chance to shoot his gun. 
Wow. And now it's just Alec Bar and me. And Alec Bar is pretty low XP because I remember he fell. Uh, well, I don't remember now, but now I realize he fell. And then we're just here in meeting and. If, oh, that's right, bro. Start. There's nothing we can do because the case, case, um, is above and walking is gonna be holding above while, while uh, the rest of the players are kind of spread here. Oh, somebody going for the flank. Oh yeah, it's big red. I I read this. Yeah, I read the flank. I was thinking, okay, somebody's gonna flank here, and I read it. And uh, now, but. Still a 2v3 with 30 seconds left with no case. There's nothing we can do. Really, really nothing. Even if we get the kills, we still have to get case. Like, we can't even get... I don't think we could go for the kills because walking will play it smart. Just... Oh, he, he doesn't even know t case is down too. So that's interesting. But case is down top floor. And... Oh, the missed timing there. Okay, one above. We can't go for the kills because there's one above and, and two playing around site. We, so we assume there's going to be one roamers, two playing around site. It's just, and there's not enough time left, so we can't get all three kills in time. With less than 20 seconds. Oh, I like, I like Bar's perspective in this situation. Oh yeah, walking's going to go push down white stairs. Oh, this is when he wins the gunfight against me. Yeah, I realized Case is above. I thought I could grab Case. Ah, there's nothing I can do. I was thinking, ah, I'll just grab Case, come back down. There's still nothing you can do. Not enough time. And oh, uh, oh, we got Muff wins the gunfight against Alec Bar. He was already low, so. And now they take the lead 3 to 2. Leviathan takes the lead 3 to 2 against Sea Stars. Round number 5 has concluded. Okay. Round number. Six, I believe. Yes, this is round number six. And walking will play Ella. Big Red will play Thunderbird. Muff will play Mira. Oh, what was that? Mason will play Jaeger. And Adrian will play Mozzie. And this is when they caught on. That Mira is really smart. This is when they're... He places the Mira watching to Attic and they're catching on to our tactics now. They made the adjustment... Uh, of us pushing into the, the same attic push and also kids window and this is now even this is going to be tougher for the sea stars to do the same strat but, and our plan was to do the same thing we, uh, we almost had it so let's do it again uh, but this time it's, there's a mirror in play and why is Alec Bar spinning around and now he's not alright so same type of thing, Bro Star will play the Ying, Yoda is your Kali, Alec Bar is your Zofia. I guess he could play, I think we told him to play Twitch or whatever, it doesn't matter. Sophia's fine. Uh, Rookman will play Amaru, Wolfie will play the Breacher. Ooh, look at that toss. What are you, Tom Brady? Opens out of wall. But, like I said, who is holding that mirror in trophy? See, they know what's up. And you have Mason. So you have Mason in armory. Uh, it's walking holding that mirror in trophy. So they know. Okay, so wall is going to be open. No, it's not going to be no presence here. Um, no presence at this side. But here's the thing. Our game plan was this. We were still going to put... We're still going to do the attic presence, but... Uh, the plan was Alec Bar can be flexible. He doesn't have to push big window. He has options. He, uh, we want the the plan was for Alec Bar to cause distraction, so he chose to cause a distraction at big window. But he can go big window or go trophy side, or 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 below. Um, so yeah, he could be he could try to cause a distraction at mass if he causes a distraction at master. Uh, master outside master and master bedroom that makes that makes mason and walk walking uh feel feel pressured walking we have to definitely at least walking will feel the pressure holding this mirror because he's worried about getting shot by um the armory um but at the same time mason's mason's job is to watch walking's back but still there is some pressure uh presence some pressure there instead there'll be some presence in big window and now that i think about it if Alec Bar, oh Alec Bar could be aggressive in that big window situation, and technically we're causing distraction in in attic. But let's see what happens. Bro, 
Bro Star gets tagged already. Oh, I don't know what happened. And drum. Oh, there we go. There's the aggressive play. I know we gonna we lose this round, but look at that five v four man advantage. Wow, five v four man advantage. That's aggressive. And now that leaves a join in kids, Mason in armory, walking in, holding down trophy in big red in attic. Ooh, here we go. So technically. Technically what should happen, which I w we also had Rookman to be flexible. Either he can play the Repel outside kids or a Marrush in kids. And if you Marrush in kids, yeah, A join. If he Marrush in kids at the same time Agbar hops in the window, A join will definitely be in a 1v2 pinch situation. Either he's going to get traded if he gets one of them. But that's that that would be a that would be a great idea. Cause like meanwhile we're just joining out. Okay, so we, we have a feeling that one's definitely holding the mirror in kids and one's definitely holding the mirror in attic, right? We don't have an idea what Mason's at, I don't think so, yeah. Cause we only think it's just only one person and we don't have an idea where oh, we do have an idea where Big Red is at, we did spot Big Red drone, so we don't so that's the only thing we're worried about Mason. We uh, we had an idea of one's holding kids. The mirror and Big Red playing the right corner of Attic because he always likes to play around here. Oh, a swing. I guess I, I gotta highlight Rickman's perspective. And Alec Barr takes on Big Red. Did we? Wait, did we? There's no way we lost this round. Did we lose this round? 5v3 once again. Another kill to Big Red. So much pressure. There's no way we lost this round, did we? Um. 5v3. That's huge. A join takes down Yoda. The Cali? How did he take down Cali? Whoa, I gotta see that. Attackers need to locate and defuse bomb. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds to insertion. Attackers' objective is to locate a bomb and defuse it. Bomb located by attackers. No, what is Cali doing? That's not Cali's job. No, that's how he takes out Cali because Cali picked the window. Dude, here's the plan the plan is for. The plan is for to Ying for for Ying to play outside and push in, and then Callie and I push in. Ying's supposed to entry into attic from attic window. Yoda and Wolfie is supposed to push in the breach that we just made. While Ying will entry, if he gets frag, will if he gets if he if he dies, we'll frag him out. There. We have Rookmane to watch. Rookmane's here to play kids' window to watch the Ying's back outside attic window. Ying, uh, Bro Star is supposed to play outside. Yoda is not supposed to challenge kids' window. Yo, that's not. Yoda is supposed to. Um, his his thing. His main job is to use his utility to open attic and then switch to his secondary weapon. And he's the second. Second entry. Ying entries into window. Yoda second entry because he has an SMG, he has a uh, fast fire SMG. I'm th I am third into the breach, and I specifically told the game plan, and this is not supposed to happen. Ah. <sighs> Second most, Ying's supposed to bring smokes. Ying needs to bring smokes, and Ying, Ying, f I, I, I assume Brostar brought the smokes along with the Ying Candelas, but turns out no. But if if Ying was at the window, bring smokes. The, the he will smoke off the mirror, smoke off anything at it. He's gonna be uber aggressive with the LMG, like that's the plan. Yoda is gonna be once again. He, Yoda's supposed to play here, where where Brostar is at right now. That's where Yoda's supposed to play, and I am last because uh, I'm the breacher. I'm a harbinger. I'm the ace. 
Uh, with case. I'm the ace with case. It's supposed to be a fla there's flawless plan, but then, uh, wow, plan failed because they didn't play their positions correctly, and Ajorn gets another kill. He takes out Alec Bar as well. It was a 5v3 man advantage, and that's how it ended up from a 5v3 to a 3v3. So we did lose this round. Let's highlight Alec, Alec Bar's perspective when he died to Ajorn. Wow, swings takes out Alec Bar. Three v three. Oh, did you see the Ella? Oh, that, oh, is that mirror not open? Oh, okay, I thought that mirror was open. Okay, so that's a glitch. Mirror isn't really open. Even the okay, that's fine. So both star will be an attic. Rook main. So new plan, I just came up with a new plan off the fly, you gotta see what we do, I'm gonna resume it. New plan is just gonna be hot hot repelling kids window. That's not that's a new plan. Bomb located by attackers. Cause I realized that mirror is too strong holding attic, we can't push an attic, so uh, new plan is hot repelling kids. And then we'll play we'll play retreat, we frag, and it uh, it kinda worked. It almost worked. Uh so there we go. I need. I told. This is when I told Rookman repel down. You gonna Mar rush in. So Mar Omar goes first. Our, uh, and then we're gonna repel it afterwards. He's gonna toss the flashes to kids. We all. We we, we know the situation. We know that A join is still there. We and we know that one was playing um, the mirror. We just didn't know where Mason was at. And turns out Mason was here. But I had a feeling. But the plan was. Here's the plan. Rookman will Mar rush kids. He's gonna swing right. I will Omar rush. I will rush it afterwards. I'm going to challenge. I'm going to challenge the gunfight door. Rookmain is going to challenge the gun. Uh, uh, a joint on the right side. All right. I was like, get ready. He's gonna toss his last flash. Here we go. Bam. Gets caught sprinting. So he gets caught sprinting, and all Ajorn has to do is, is pre-aim. If only he was in, he just needs to pre-aim. Not sprint, but pre-aim it. Uh, challenge, uh, when I say challenge, I, I thought, you know, it's not sprint at them. It's just you challenging by holding down your L2 ch uh, and then using your left stick to look right. But you're holding on your L2 and, and you're pre-firing. You're pre-firing pre L2, holding down, we got caught sprinting. So, I I know what's up. I know the mod is still there. Oh, I gave me, I'm getting some... Okay, there we go. Good. But my point, I was like thinking, who's? I know that uh, since I'm the second guy, or probably in the window, uh, I don't know who's gonna swing me first. But I know either Doors gonna challenge me or or Mozzie, because um, they they definitely heard the Mario rush. Once they heard the Mario rush, I know they're gonna start challenging it. I was like looking left and right, who swings me first? Turns out the Jaeger swings me first. But then Mozzie gets the. I missed the. I couldn't get the refrag because Mozzie was. Already uh, pre-aiming that, and also I gotta figure out what was Bro Star's situation too. How did he die? Here we go. So here's Bro, Bro Star's perspective. What are you doing, Bro Star? No, no, we never told you to do that. No, 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 Bro Star. No, 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 Bro Star. Not to get caught throwing your candelas, no. You're gonna flash us. You you will flash us. I never said to toss your candelas. That's not that is not what you're supposed to do, flash your teammates because we're are repelling in. No bro star, no. Bro star, why? Why bro star? That's the end of the first half of this video. Um they take the lead four to two on the first half. Yep, officially four to two. Let's check the scoreboard uh at the first half. How do I check it? Uh pull four four. Um is it options? It's options. There we go. Here's the here's the scoreboard after the first half. It's unfortunate. Thanks for watching.